in today's video i am going to be talking about the inspiration behind this piece which was letting go of the past being more present in the now and not hyperfixating on the future so topic wise this drawing didn't actually have a plan i knew that i wanted to do a layout like one of my old sketchbook pages which was the drawing equivalent of a collage it was just kind of a mix of random drawings from random angles and different mediums it was just more of a free page and i wanted to do that again because i feel like i've been quite rigid in what i'm creating i've liked what i'm creating but i wanted to feel a bit more free i started off with a girl in the clouds and went from there and then once i started adding the nature elements i added a river and i realized that i just i don't know in my head i just saw three clocks and straight away i was like past present and future those three things have been the biggest thing i've been trying to balance at the moment in my head i have changed so much in these past two years in terms of discipline and looking after myself and my communication with the people in my life i've just come so far and i'm still constantly analyzing myself but that analyzing is also my downfall because i can see how far i've come but it also creates this massive amount of guilt for who i was in the past and although i wasn't a monster or an evil person i am still a human and i've made tons of mistakes and said horrible things and done stupid stupid dumb things and not looked after myself and i think there was a period where i was very good at managing that but recently i don't know why but some of my mistakes have just been plaguing me for no reason i say i don't know why but i do know why these past three months because my discipline has been a lot better and i just know myself and my needs a lot better i have been going so fast because i'm in this place i've always wanted to be and i don't want to miss an opportunity or not work as hard as i could or be the best version of myself that i could so i've just been running at full speed towards the end of the tunnel but looking back now this week only can i see it um that i just wasn't balancing things as well as i thought i thought i was giving myself enough free time and seeing my family enough and you know just allowing myself to be creatively free enough as well as work and girl i was not so this lack of free time also meant that my thoughts didn't have enough time to sort themselves out healthily i was going out on my walks in the morning and journaling and then that would usually help my thoughts but i think the last month i got so hyper fixated on getting everything done so that i'd have this perfect future that i wasn't allowing myself to do the small things that was helping me to function and think properly spending half an hour outdoors spending even five minutes journaling having a tea in the garden reading even three pages of a book is so beneficial for my mind and because i wasn't doing that fully i wasn't fully committing myself to these things i was doing looking at them as a chore and not being present um my thoughts started coming back in the shower my impulsive thoughts sorry started coming back in the shower and when i was exercising which is when i was usually free from them and when i'm trying to sleep at night and halfway through the day when i'm working everything was just plaguing me so much and it wasn't crippling i could still survive i could still get on with my day but it was just bothering me that i wasn't as peaceful and present as i used to be 
so i started doing two things at once i started reading eckhart toll's book called a new earth or new earth and i started listening to this psychiatrist he's like the one that does all the gaming i can't remember his name but he said something about when you are always work he was talking about people have who have an addiction to work he was saying that it's still an addiction because you are not letting you are escaping from your thoughts and you are not letting them sort themselves out properly you're pushing them away when they come up and i was like wait a damn minute wait a damn minute so then he said that any free chance that the brain gets to then think all these things that you've been pushing away it will come and that is why it feels intrusive and overwhelming i was like oh my god so that made me realize like okay i'm going too fast and then eckhart toll's book i have nearly finished but so far it has really taught me it's made me cry a couple times but it's really taught me how to be more present and how to not add form and personalize everything so not everything is about me and that allows me to be more present because then i'm not in my head about oh i've done this in the past i haven't been nice and now i'm nice and now i should feel guilty it's like no just be just exist and hold space for others and yourself and everything will be fine there is no way i can ever explain anything from that book and do it justice so i'd really recommend reading it and it might sound like i'm just speaking a load of gibberish when i talk about it but it really just made me think more about myself internally i think i was very external i was getting satisfaction from external things and even though i'm very comfortable in my own skin i was i think i was hyper fixated on who i was and i wasn't letting myself just exist as i am going so fast made me realize how how fast time does go by like it slips through your fingers before you know it and I wasn't enjoying the little things. I wasn't allowing myself to rest. And I was so focused on getting to a life that I completely enjoyed that I wasn't being grateful for the things that I currently enjoy and currently bring me happiness and comfort. I don't want to get to a place where I've got everything that I've dreamed about, but I have been checked out for the years leading up to that because i was so just my tunnel vision was on that one goal and i've wasted years of my life not being present not seeing the people i care and love about not having fun and just relaxing like at the beginning of summer i set all these goals for myself of places i wanted to go and things i wanted to do and i was working so much that three months have gone by and now it's autumn and it's not like i can't do these things but it's like girl how did you let three months fly by and you decided nah i'm just gonna you know hyper fixate on work being hard working having discipline and ambition are not bad things at all but when they are the only thing you are focused on it's not healthy having a purpose is what makes life meaningful but the small moments of joy and euphoria and peace and love are what makes it even more meaningful and special and if you're only relying on the outer to bring you satisfaction then you are going to completely miss what your body and soul craves and needs inside in the book there is an exercise where toll recommends 
reminding yourself of the phrase this too shall pass not only in the bad moments but the good moments and it's not to dampen the good moments it's to not form unnecessary attachments and to strengthen your power of being present in the moment it helps you to enjoy the moment and to not try and desperately grapple onto it to not record it not take pictures just enjoy it it will pass so be in it and with the bad times it lets you know that yeah you're not feeling great now you're going through something whether you're grieving or you're depressed or you're just feeling a bit lost it will pass and it's necessary to feel the bad things to grow and learn and once they've passed the good times will be back around before you know it and you can enjoy them in the very moment i'm thinking of getting this phrase tattooed on me just because i am thinking it all the time at the moment i'm reminding myself when i'm going too fast this too shall pass so take it slowly like you'll be where you want to be before you know it and this moment would have passed you so enjoy it while you're in it and you're not looking back like oh my god i let all these things pass me by as they naturally will but if you don't acknowledge them you are a shell of a human well i am a shell of a human it may sound like i'm over exaggerating but i am a person who finds so much happiness and joy and comfort in the small things and in order for me to feel that i need to be present to be able to see those things and with me going so fast i was missing them and therefore the light that was in me was dimmed and i was a shell of who i knew i could be like my potential for love and light wasn't being filled up to its capacity i feel like i've kind of been all over the place back and forth between past present and future but to break it down i am someone who has suffered from anxiety i don't say i suffer anymore um maybe i have small blips but it's nowhere near as bad as it used to be but during that and the aftermath of when i was diagnosed all of that i was having really intrusive thoughts when i woke up during the day when i went to bed and it was crippling i was stuck in the past stuck on bad things that had happened to me things that i had said to other people uh trauma family issues arguments even silly little mistakes i would have made at school or stupid things i said to people that i didn't know something and maybe i sounded dumb like i was stuck in all of those moments of interaction with a stranger any little thing you could think of my mind would replay it and replay it so that was the space i was living in and then after that i was like on my you know recovery journey independent woman blah 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 i'm an adult now when really girl i was i was not grown i was not independent but then i was living in the future of the space that i wanted to be in i was so hyper fixated on i'm not that person who was stuck in the past anymore but i was stuck in the future and i feel like now i'm in the present stage of my life i say that after a week of taking a break from everything from socials a break from you know pushing myself too hard i've still got the exact same goals as i had when i was pushing myself so hard but this week i really have you know taking it slow made sure i'm pacing my work that if i want to go do something i enjoy i go do it it actually doesn't even take that much time out of my day to do the small things i enjoy and i am resetting my routine to make it slower and make it adaptable so if there is a day where i need to spend more time on myself i can do it or if there is a day where i need to fit more work in i can do it not being so you know being strict but not restricting myself is my 
new way of looking at my life and making sure I definitely read every morning I try and read every night but if I can't I don't beat myself up because sleep is important but I'm also doing that to rebuild my attention span the reason I'm pushing myself so much is because you know social media ruined my attention span and I want to get it back to where it was so I can focus on the things I want to without feeling like it's literally a fight to do it so that is one of my new focuses which is ironic because I'm focusing on focusing but also being conscious of the media I consume I feel everything very deeply sometimes it's nice to watch stuff that are funny or silly or you know reality tv that takes me out of my own issues but i realize that i want to consume things that give me something even if i can't relate it to my life i want to learn something or see something creative and artistic and like a metaphor even if it's a tv show or a movie i want it to challenge my mind or just get me thinking and even with youtube and stuff i've been listening to a lot of podcasts and the books i've been reading have been self-help or philosophy and i feel like i'm really being less shy about my connection with god i realize that the word god is universal i don't have to be attached to a religion to feel a connection to god and that has been something that's really been keeping me in the present too is that god always provides so i don't need to be so hyper fixated i just need to do my best put my heart out there and you know what is meant for my life will come towards me because god always provides if you look at this drawing and you look at every element you will notice there is a heart and a brain and this is to represent the fight of the heart and the mind when you are trying to balance these things it really is a fight of what your heart wants but what your mind needs your mind needs rest your mind needs sleep your mind needs healthy thoughts and loving thoughts but your heart wants to be in this place so badly it has a purpose and a passion and a drive and it's trying to force its way there but you need to look after both they don't need to be fighting they need to be joined together so as an end note i feel like i did repeat myself a lot but i have learned that these three things are all very important the past is important because you get reminded of old feelings you find old photos of your family and you you feel nostalgia and joy and it can even bring you like a little bit of inspiration or it can remind you to keep in contact with your family so it's important the past teaches us what we do want in our lives and what we don't want so we learn from our mistakes but we learn from the good people the good times the good things we experienced and then the present is obviously very important because that's the only thing that we can ever be in it's the only state of life we're living we are present now there is nothing else but this moment and the future is important because every decision we make dictates our future so we have to be intentional with the things we do and intentional with our lives because the future is the next present moment they're all very important but it's extremely beneficial to balance them all and not have one toppling over the other I am still learning a lot about this and it's only my first week of taking it slower and experiencing life how I need to but I know that from how I already feel inside that this is going to be a more permanent state of life 
at the moment. <laughs>